Now let's continue. Women politicians are sharply divided over yesterday's endorsement of NAC Kenya leader Martha Karua for the Azimio One Kenya Alliance running mate slot. Wiper Party Women's League has distanced itself from the decision made by a section of women leaders from the Azimio camp led by Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu on grounds that they were not consulted. But as Melita Oletengas reports, the controversy has put a spotlight on the question of gender in Kenya's political leadership. Women leaders in both the Azimio One Kenya Alliance Coalition and Kenya Kwanza Alliance are putting up a spirited campaign to have one of their own picked as a running mate. In the Azimio camp, women leaders have thrown their weight behind NAC Kenya's Mata Karua, while their counterparts in the Kenya Kwanza Alliance seem to be leaning towards Kirinyaga governor Ann Waiguru. However, cracks are already emerging in the Azimio camp over yesterday's endorsement of Martha Karua. Bado tunajua msimamo wa chama hiki cha Wiper ni kwamba Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka ndiye ambaye atakuwa Deputy President wa Raila Amolo Odinga. Despite the opposition from the Wiper Party Women's League, Karua has continued to receive support from her Kirinyaga backyard. <laughs> According to the 2019 Kenya population and housing census, women make for 50.5% of the population. Thus the conviction by women leaders that they also deserve a seat at the high table. Where you find men meeting, if you don't find woman's face, then you do not have proper representation of the nation. And this is representing half the nation. The appointment of a woman deputy president may change the political dynamics in the country and shift the trend from the usual regional and tribal politics. We think time has come when we would have what is called zebra. That is, if a man is the president, a lady should be the, the deputy president. And the same goes for the governors. We are saying let us just refer back to our constitutions, Article 27, Sabbatical 3, that states that women are exposed to 50% of chances in this nation. But with the women politicians already tussling over the endorsement of Karua, uniting women voters to support one of their own may be an uphill task. Mata Karua will add not only to the value, as I said, of the presidency of Raila Odinga, but at last to give women of Kenya that hope while it is not a must to pick a woman running mate in the forthcoming elections, it is a card that could change the political landscape and the succession matrix, even as the political camps hold their cards close to their chest in a game of who will blink first. Melita, Oletenges, NTV, Nairobi.